Greetings, everyone. Joseph James here from the School of Trade. Com. Today was February twenty third, two thousand and ten. Here's your live trade room recap. Before we talk about the trades we took today, guys, had a pretty good day today. Actually, almost a thousand bucks in the room this morning. I want to remind you guys, we have three important links. If you're watching this video right now on the YouTube page, in the description of the video, you'll see three links. One for our blog. Of course, lots of great video series there on discipline cycle, trade management, uh, using rules. So the blog's the first one. Second link there is for our 12-month track record. And the third link is come out and join us for a free trial. If you guys haven't come out and joined Live Trade Room yet, guys, you're missing out. It's one of the best environments to learn available right now. And we can give you guys free three weeks. Come out and join us and come learn with us. We took five trades today here in the room. Two, four, five total trades. As you can see, almost all of them were on crude, gold, euro, long, and short. Couple breakers, couple two steps. 793 today, guys. 74 ticks out of the market, almost 800 USD, only four contracts. And of course, now we're over $7,000 for the month. We're over $16,000 for the year. And we're averaging over 700 bucks every single day, guys, on only four contracts. Now, what was most important that happened today? I think the most important thing was we learned a valuable lesson about setting up technically before we get started. Now, I made a mistake this morning. I missed two trades at the beginning of the day because I wasn't prepared technically. Now, if I would have taken both those trades, maybe I would have made some more money today, maybe a little bit less, but you know, we never know. What we know is is that I missed two trades because I wasn't ready. Now, guys, when you guys come out and join us in the morning, 7.45 till about 8.15, we go through our technical and mental preparation of the day. And during that preparation, we go over your charts, how to set up your charts, how to use your indicators. We go over, of course, loading up your auto levels, finding your trend lines, locating big round numbers, right? All of this is part of your technical preparation for the day ahead, making sure that your indicators and your charts are all working properly. Now, what I didn't do this morning, though, and I'm kind of kicking myself about it now, but I wanted to use this as an example of uh, even the most experienced traders, guys, they're going to still forget stuff every once in a while. So what you need to do is... Put together a checklist, right? Grab your grab your pen and your paper, right? And put together a checklist here as far as what your daily routine is going to be. Now I have one. I go over with you guys every morning. I just didn't simply follow my own advice this morning, uh, answering questions and and doing certain things elsewise. But learn from a mistake. What I didn't do was the dome and the trade management chart weren't properly set up. So I hadn't selected my correct ATM strategies. I hadn't got my trade management chart set up properly. So when I went to go take a trade. All my rules lined up. Everything looked perfectly. I went to click my order button, and what did I see? Nothing, right? It's set up on simulation. It didn't have my ATM strategy dialed in for me. In other words, it wasn't the right setup. So I wasn't fully technically prepared. Guys, if you don't have your dome and your trade management chart on that list of things to do before you get started, make sure you guys add those too. Let's take a look here. Now, five total trades, everything from crude to the euro to gold. Now, the first trade of the day today here started out, of course, on the crude, went crude, back to the gold, and finished up on euro. The short-term trend here was down. Now, I know my short-term trend is down because I'm looking at the slope of my trigger line here. You'll notice we have a low of day here. The low of day, as you guys know, is a high-profile level. That means we're going to be looking at the low of day potentially holding more often than not. Therefore, we want to see green pace of the tape. I want to see large sellers pounding this thing down at these lows here. But one thing we know for sure is when we see the low of day, we're thinking bounce, right? So we're thinking price is going to bounce off that low of day and we're going to try to find a way to take advantage of it. We do here with this two-step pattern long. So we come down, we test the low of day here. You can see what happened was, guys, we saw a couple opportunities here, but notice how we saw some red lines here. Not enough room to get in on these trades to the downside, so we kept waiting. We marked up our swing high here at about 10.14, 10.15, and then we had to wait almost five minutes to break that swing high right all the way over here. And so once we finally broke that swing high, we broke above that swing high, counter trend trade, of course, against the short term trend. So once again, the trend is down. You can see that by the slope my trigger line here. We bounce off this low of day, make our swing high, break above that swing high, and there's your trend reversal pattern, your two step. 78.44 was the fill at 10.20. Got off to a good start here, plus four, plus eight, and then trailed our stop to lock in seven more ticks. Now, we used a very simple strategy this morning because we had green pace of the tape. With green pace of the tape, we have a very simple technique of managing our final position here. And, and ultimately, we used that pink line on our trade management chart. So we locked up 23 ticks, guys, plus 4, plus 8, plus 7 for 230 bucks here on the crude at 1020. Next up, five minutes later, now we had a bunch of trades here. 1020, 1026, 1027, 1033, and then finished up at 1036 on the euro. So before too long, about 15, 20 minutes, we had made 70 ticks or so, and we were looking pretty good here. So 
over here on the on the gold now symbol GC short term trend is down once again same thing here there's your low of day we're thinking two step long bouncing of course above the swing high for the low of day 1026 on the gold 3.7 was the fill now in this case very choppy here you can see this area on on gold right here very choppy right above our point of entry and what happened was we got in on the break above and then as you can see here it came crashing back down right there so we got in on it got a little bit of profit we saw if you guys were this morning the three strike rule and that says basically one two three strikes didn't fill my first profit target so I moved my stock from six ticks back up to my point of entry to lock out all the risk three strike rule also says we're now going to force this first target filled we forced it filled get as much profit as we possibly can plus two plus one six ticks or sixty USD on this second trade on gold so a little bit of a small winner there but guys those small winners they're gonna cover some small losses we took either last week or later on this week so we're perfectly we're perfectly fine with with small winners here those small winners will turn into big winners just like they did here next on the crude at 1027 and then 1033 so now back to back winners here on crude now look at how these trades play out guys very interesting two breaker patterns we had the short term trend up for the first trade here at 1027 short term trend is up look at my slope my trigger line here we break above this 56 level here these red lines of course are automatically generated for me I mark up my swing high here and then we break above that swing high of course this breaker long at 1027 we got in it for the eights plus four plus six plus eight for 220 USD or 22 ticks now you'll notice we took plus four plus six here now the plus six happened because once again we also had a three strike rule on the second profit target right the plus eight target plus four plus eight we didn't get the plus eight we saw one two three attempts to break it we took the target at plus six because of the three strike rule and then we trailed our stop to get eight more ticks 22 ticks total or 220 USD on the first trade here on the crude so 1027 then what happens we see the trend reverse it comes back down breaks now below these 56 levels here makes our swing low and then this little candle here gets us gets us in and gets us out at the same time guys five second rule says if I get into a trade and I don't see price moving in my direction five four three two one I will then consider this to be a higher risk trade because it's not moving very fast I'll move my stop from six ticks back down to my point of entry lock out all that risk and what happened here was we moved it down point of entry plus one we got two ticks out of it right two ticks or 20 USD so we got filled half the position at plus one the other half it scratched to break even at 7851 so we made 22 ticks in the first trade two ticks in the second trade here guys and let's wrap this thing up with the euro here at 1036 you can see 1026 27 33 36 these happened very quickly and we were done short term trend down here guys back on the euro final trade here in the euro of the day we had the low of day here so as we knew it comes down test the low of the day we expect the bounce we mark up our swing high right here we break above that swing high and there's the bounce off the low of day here 1036 a two-step pattern long 35 37 was the fill we got our plus four target our plus eight target moved our stop up to that pink line on our trade management chart and then trailed our stop to lock in five more ticks totaling 21 ticks at 12.50 per tick on the euro that's 262 and change and guys add them all up couple trades in the crude couple trades in the gold finished up on the euro 74 ticks total 793 USD for the day today guys can't ask for much better than that on a Tuesday let's prep for tomorrow now we're open all week guys tomorrow's a Wednesday so we have training on Wednesdays at 1130 Eastern time so make sure you guys are there for that tomorrow's the 24th we have new home sales at 10 o'clock 10 o'clock tomorrow we have big Ben Bernanke speaking again tomorrow remember uh, Ben Bernanke is going to be speaking all throughout this week so we want to be aware of what's going on with that at 1030 we have our crude oil inventories like we do on every Wednesday of course that 10 o'clock uh, Mr. Uh, ben Bernanke speaking though is our main concern for tomorrow we want to make sure you guys are here for that tomorrow morning we'll open up the trade room tomorrow 745 Eastern time make sure you guys come out and join us for that uh, webinars tomorrow uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays we did a great webinar today we'll do another one on Thursday and of course I want to recommend you guys check out the beginners course as well as our YouTube page if you guys want more information about lifetime membership guys it's almost the end of the month get ready for next month with us sales at schooltrade.com my name is Joseph James hope the video helps we'll see you guys next time bye bye for now